it's Nancy from the Dover Town Library, and I'm here with an incredible, super awesome, fun time at home. This week, Mary, you remember Mary from the children's room. Well, Mary is going to read a book titled How to Find a Fox. It's about a girl who tries to take a picture of a fox that she saw in her backyard. And then Mary is going to share pictures and videos of foxes and other animals that she saw in her backyard. But first, we're going to sing Ram Sam Sam. So get your hands out. Hello, everyone. Here's another super awesome fun time favorite coming to you from the Dovertown Library. This is Angie and Nancy. We're going to sing Ram Sam Sam, and we hope that you'll follow along with us from home. So get your hands out. Here we go. From the Dovertown Library. Today I am going to read a book by Nyla Magruder. It's called How to Find a Fox. And we might see foxes also because there's a family of foxes that live in our backyard. How to Find a Fox. Find a foxhole. Any foxhole will do. The best foxes are at home when you visit. Take out your fox bait. Place it somewhere easy to spot. Hide, then wait very quietly. I spy the fox and he spies the bait, but I think he also sees her. Wait a little longer. Maybe you should try a different approach. Tread slowly over the ground. Foxes have keen hearing. You don't want to startle them. Be sure to look for fox tracks. Look, she's following the tracks. They're like dog tracks, but sneakier. Who's in that tree? Take a picture of a family of raccoons. They have bushy tails, kind of like foxes. Who's in the picture? Put out more bait. Wait longer this time. Will he outwait you? Oh no, you've waited too long. Lying around won't bring foxes to you. Keep looking. Stalk through the grass. Make fox calls. Search by the stream. Make more fox calls. Roll down a hill. It won't help you find a fox, but it's fun. Maybe you need a change of perspective. Climb a tree. Slowly, carefully, there he is! Way down here! Oh no! Climb down from the tree. He's getting away. He's fast. Run! Run! You've got to be quick. Don't lose him. Quick! Through the log. You've lost him. He's in his home. Kick a rock. No, wait, not that rock. Kick a smaller rock. 
lie down on your back because it's hopeless. Perhaps this was the wrong day to find foxes. Maybe, maybe you should just give up. You want to go home, but you're too tired. What do you do now? Take deep breaths. Close your eyes. Take a walk in your mind. Now's not the time to give up. What you're looking for is closer than you think. You've got a feeling that it's staring you right in the face. <gasps> Some days, a fox doesn't want to be found. Some days, he wants to find you. The end. Welcome to our backyard. In our forest, there are two dens of foxes. Come find them with me. This way. That's the entrance to the fox den. This is the second fox den. Family lives in the woods and we watch them through this camera. There's all kinds of animals along the way. Can you find a toad? Very close. Thanks for joining me on this fox hunt. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Jim with another super awesome fun time at home finger play. This time I'm gonna show you one called Where is Thumpkin? And it goes like this. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. But you can do it with other ones, not just your thumbs. So let's try it with pointer. Where is pointer?
Pointer, where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Let's do it with Pinky this time. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Oh, that was great. See you guys again next time. Hi everyone, time. ready for another sensory activity? Today I have here some objects that I'm going to be using in a sensory sorting bin. These are really great for fine motor control, for thinking about how you want to sort things, and for manipulation. So, let me show you what I have here. I have a large container, it's just a plastic container that I've put my objects in. And for my objects I have things like pom-poms, small pine cones, some very large beads that I've found in my cabinet, and some feathers. You can use whatever you have around the house um, for objects in these. Um, if you have things like uncooked pasta or uh, dried beans, things like that, you're more than welcome to use it. If you are using this with a, you know, younger children, you do want to keep an eye on them and make sure they're not going to put any of these objects in their mouth. Um, so what I've done is I've mixed all of these in my container and I have here an egg uh, container that's empty. Uh, you can also use a muffin tin if that's easier for you to get a hold of. And what you're going to do is ask your child to sort the items in the bin. So you might want to, you know, sort the pom-poms by color and pull out all of the pine cones and maybe take out the feathers, things like that so that they're thinking about how they're going to be sorting and they're using their fine motor skills to pick up the objects and put them in the container. So that's it for today for Super Awesome Fun Time at Home. We hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Bye!